Do we it. live in Kentucky. It is located in between Ohio, Virginia, and Missis- Missouri. Somewhere between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, Kentucky. It's like right there, right? It's pretty much in the Appalachian Mountains. We just exist. And because we're here, you got to think about you got to think about the uh, what do you call it? The terrain of Kentucky yeah. to really yeah. to really explain what goes on here. Okay, so there's big mountains. This is also prevalent in Afghanistan, believe it or not. But there's big mountains, and it's hard to travel in between them. Because of that, we have very strong culture with inside of the mountains. Because they just they just can't we, we can't go anywhere else, and they can't come in. It's just we're locked up. It's like the um, song "You'll Never Leave Harlan Alive." Yeah, pretty much like once you're here, you're stuck here. Yeah, you when you go to Harlan, geographically, it's not even anything else. It's just you physically can't get out. You're stuck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're actually stuck by the mountains. Well, Ethan pull, Ethan has collected a few Kentucky news stories, everyday things to us, but we're going to let you guys look at them and take a look at what you think. Every time, every evening on the news, which I don't watch, we have things just like this. Go ahead and pull it up, make it big, and uh, yeah, this is literally the things we see on the news all the time. Y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all ready for this? Yeah, move the microphone there so they can hear it. All right, this one's actually happened close to home. a car was bad enough, but investigators say it led to two people inside that car being attacked by bees. It happened last night on Patton Spur Road in Laurel County. <laughs> Police say a car hit a utility pole and bothered a hive of bees nearby. New tonight, Eric Weimer talks to someone who lives in that area who saw it all happen. <laughs> Neighbors along Patton Spur Road are still, well, buzzing about what happened. <laughs> Well, I just had got done feeding my chickens, watering them and stuff, and I walked back to my house there to get my phone so I could play a video game on it. And all of a sudden, I heard a big boom. I looked back out my door, and an electric pole fell, and the lines was falling, and the jail cacklers sideways into the fence. Then the folks inside the car got a big surprise. Well, he didn't know it, but he found out that there was a hive of bees that was located there. And he disturbed them. And as a guy come out sc- screaming and squalling <laughs> and uh, running around about like a chicken with his head cut off. Anderson then says they ran up the road, grabbed a hose outside his home, and started trying to spray off the bees. I told him they need to get out of that water. But say I didn't know he was getting eat up by bees. I thought he was just high. Deputies say the couple were under the influence of drugs. They say they had driven down the road looking for a place to swim. That girl in that little bikini, <laughs> she had a little red dot thought over here. Even here. Gary Lee got yeah. stung while he was out there. Needless to say, investigators call it That's an so unusual <laughs> case, but everyone around here hopes the two learned a serious lesson. Think they learned their lesson? I'd say by today they are. If I feel like my leg feels, I'd say they're learning. In Laurel County, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. Oh, wait! I got the most important question. Yeah, what yeah. video game was he trying to play on his phone? <laughs> what do you think? It was back in 2016. What game? Clash of Clans? It's no, gotta be. It was the like one week Flappy Bird was around. <laughs> no, it had to be. Y'all know the little game where it's like the little motorcycle and it's like just a random. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, if it's the top. I, I know what you're you talking know what about. I'm talking I, about. I, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Too. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a good game. It, it wasn't like speed bike or something like that, was it? I don't know. Oh, I can't remember. Did you see the Geo Tracker? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice little Geo Tracker to be crashed just, into a tree. <laughs> they were just driving through the mountains looking for somewhere to swim. Not to mention where where they was. Like they were in the main back somewhere of a holler. They wasn't just like they wasn't on the main road. No. They was back at that guy's <laughs> house looking for a place to swim. <laughs> he said. uh then they learned the lesson. He said, "Yeah, day they are." <laughs> I don't even know what that means. He talked to <laughs> the thing is, why did the lady already just have nothing on but a bikini? And he was talking about she got eat up by the bees. Well, yeah, she sometimes, got eat up by the bees. Sometimes you get excited, you know. You don't want that transition period from putting clothes on to get into the water. Or she just wanted to go swimming. Go swimming. Were well, they gonna swim in the creek? Well, they, they was looking. Yeah, they was looking. <laughs> I appreciate that. You know, all these people just buy pools nowadays. Old fashioned way. That's how they, <laughs> that's how Daniel Boone did it. <laughs> go go look for a place to swim yeah. in your geo tracker and accidentally ram into a pole with bees on it. I mean, wouldn't the lake be a better option? Maybe they's looking for the lake. Yeah. They, I mean they, they they got lost. Everyone knows where Laurel Lake's at. 
Not them. They were hot. <laughs> they didn't know. What we got next? Um, we got a guy who got his cheese grater stolen. <laughs> yeah. This one wasn't that long ago. Yeah, it was three years ago. That's not too long, though. You just dragged that way over. No. It, I mean, it wasn't that long ago. But who steals a, tree, a cheese grater trap remix over there? <laughs> <laughs> Kentucky man. All right. Go ahead and put it up here. Let's see what we got. And someone suspected of burglarizing your home is never a good idea. A Floyd County man found that out for himself after having a gun pointed at him when he did just that. WYMT Sean Allen talked with the victim in that case. Officials say meth is on the rise, and as a result, so is crime. Must have been a bad batch around here because Floyd <laughs> County's went crazy in the last four days. Neighbors <laughs> notified Mason Tackett that his cousin, Philip Matthew Higgins, was seen carrying items from his house. When I finally got down here to the house to look see what happened, the door was standing wide open. It looked like he was packing up for a yard sale when he came out. And that is when he confronted Higgins. He was lying, throwing his hands, and saying stuff like, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, you know how rogues do, and blaming on everybody else. The confrontation took a dangerous turn once Tackett found items belonging to him. He did pull a gun on me when I got back around the house because I guess he thought I was upset with him. Items not normally the target of a would-be burglar. Who steals a cheese drink? <laughs> He's got the works, Lysol. He stole an empty bottle of spray. What got me the most was my soap. He stole my soap. Who steals soap? Philip Higgins is charged with receiving stolen property and being a convicted felon with a firearm. In Turkey Creek, Sean Allen, WYMT Mountain News. Uh, uh, Who steals my soap? <laughs> <laughs> that guy. He's, he's a bad batch. It's a bad batch. Yeah, I mean, it could happen to anybody, it's really. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Just that homegrown. Here's yeah, what I got a question of. There. If he said the last four days, what else has happened? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was wondering because that was a very specific timeline. Yeah, yeah, it's like, what else has happened? The last four days. It's not, a, that's not long. It's four days. <laughs> so maybe he was like, he didn't steal them off the same day. Maybe over the past four days, he just noticed stuff like going missing. And that fourth day's like, boom. Or, he's, it's a gang of them. You never know. Just, it's a toss-up. You don't know what's happened. Sometimes you don't want to know what happened. No, probably not. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty common in Kentucky, right? That felt like home to me. Oh my gosh, listen. Was so, home. over in a place where my dad works... I'll share this story. I'm not going to be very specific, but change the names. He had some things. <laughs> ah. Anyways, you'll hear this and know where this story comes from. He was putting things in a pile to. Yeah, he he was making so he does a bunch of stuff with like dirt, and like he moves dirt and changes its shape and stuff but he puts stuff into a salvage pile right so a bunch of scrap metal he's going to take off and sell it that they stole they stole the scrap metal it's worth about three dollars so they kind of cleaned it up which maybe uh, that's a good maybe them, that's a plus tell them the story about the house me and you actually moved on video oh yeah um <laughs> so like they own a little parking lot over in that said place, and they come in, and there is a double wide house, no, single wide, single wide, extra long trailer, house trailer, just sitting there. They just dropped it off, just left it. Who? Just some random guy. <laughs> and it was just they like just they just brought the trailer and just parked it and just left. Hey, that's easier than having to pay for land. <laughs> just stake your claim. They wouldn't even live in <laughs> no. it. They just left it. A full house. Whoever come got it? What, what, how did this resolve? Someone stole it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we move it like toward the road? Yeah, we moved the... it towards the road because hopefully something was going to happen to it. Then I think someone finally came and just got it. And it wasn't theirs. The thing is, the guy who dropped it off's name was on the side of it. And then someone stole his trailer. <laughs> Which, that's not unbelievable, is it? Within a week, wasn't it? 
Yeah, it didn't take long. No, <laughs> no. One time, uh, my where my grandmother used to live, there was like a series of knots where like bandits were going around like just stealing propane tanks off of grills. You just come out one morning, and you'd look, and your hose was cut, and your tank was gone. <laughs> why did they figure out why? It happened to my buddy this week, actually. They just steal propane tanks. Yeah, like the big grill ones, like the huge ones. Yeah, because we was actually going to grill. Because I was getting ready to go over there. This is no That'd joke. That would be such a letdown. <laughs> that would be 4th of the 3rd of July, the night of 3rd of July. I literally bought steaks from Walmart. Was going to go take them over. He's like, oh, yeah, you got an extra propane tank when I'm like two minutes away. And I was like, no, why? I'm coming to your house. He's like, someone stole my propane tank. <laughs> See, they were like in the middle of town. like, And it was like a bunch of people they took. So they were just have a knife and just would cut them, go on. Get the next one. What do you think they's doing? Either selling them or using them to make illegal substances. Probably the latter. So that so that's what happened. Made that bad batch. Yeah, that's where that went. They took the wrong tank. <laughs> <laughs> Get us with another one. And this another one's one. not crazy. Well, no. none of them's been too crazy. This is just going to be a steal. But see, this one's actually like something. I would enjoy to see, you know. I feel like this guy should maybe get pardoned. Okay? Kentucky man arrested after cops spot him setting fireworks off the back seat of his moped. You know what? Maybe maybe that one shouldn't maybe that one shouldn't, you know, is that even illegal? It shouldn't be. If it no. Is. I mean, as long as he was He's just celebrating. Right? Yeah. Look at look if you oh. look at the guy, you can tell he's not a bad guy. No, he just, just had, he was just alone on the Fourth of July, and he wanted to have a good time. <laughs> he wanted everyone else to probably enjoy that. You too. know what's crazy though? Good guy. It was that article was from July the second, so most likely this was on July the first. He, the fireworks came to town. He just wanted to get on it early. You yeah. know, this is someone's grandpa right here too. He was prepping the town, <laughs> <laughs> looking at taking in the details a little bit more. This was in Louisville, so. If he's right down, Metro, Louisville Metro. So he was downtown like these bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> off the back, off the back seat of his moped. This is details unknown. Was anybody in the front seat? I just imagine he's riding around like Batman, swerving through this town on his moped, just <laughs> roaming <Launching> candles. <laughs> just hold one out the back, going for about 25 downtown town, <laughs> weaving traffic, just cutting through by the Yum Center. Skyscrapers just hit him. Boom, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. He paved the way for mopeds around the world. He really did. Hashtag free Robert Martin. Everybody put in the uh, in the comments. Hashtag free Robert Martin. <laughs> and speaking of mopeds, would you drive a moped? No. Wow. Nope. You wouldn't. No. But Why? Because it's not cool enough. Yeah. It's got to be. Uh, what about bro ped? A bro pad or a ski pad? Bro pad. Same thing as a moped. Right, right. The thing about mopeds is that you don't have to like have a driver's license. Is that true? Uh, that's a uh, 50 cc's and under. You don't have to have a driver's license. Yeah. There, there's a common uh, term actually in Kentucky used, but we'll let y'all figure that out. But say it. It, it they call them liquor sickles. <laughs> Just due to people around here, it's a common thing that there's a lot of. People who don't have their license anymore. Yeah. The, and that's the, the only thing they have left. So that's what they use. Hence the name. I would like a moped, though. Like, if I didn't really live in the middle of nowhere, I would get a moped and I'd just cruise. There used to be this guy who used to drive around town on one, and he had, like, long, flowing hair. But he was about 70. And he didn't wear a shirt. And he would just drive through town, and he just had, like, long silver locks just flowing in the wind. No shirt on, nothing but a pair of shorts and house shoes. Just flying. He Did just he have goggles? No. <laughs> that would have added though, but it would have gotten in the way of the flow though, so yeah. you can't you can't sacrifice that. I think mopeds are mopeds are fuel efficient. You don't you can't do much in the rain or wind, but <laughs> hey. Test your balance out. Yeah. <laughs> I would be down for a good moped. I like a moped. We got one more, what we got? Uh. Let's see right here. We got we got one more. Um, I'm gonna pull this one up. This guy. 
this is a common occurrence. Yeah. Um, Read I mean, it off to us. What we got? Kentucky man on lawnmower arrested on a drunk driving charge. Yeah. This happens a lot. <laughs> I like how the uh, stock photo was a guy push mowing. Yeah, I don't know what they was doing here. <laughs> His detention. They could tell because his lines weren't straight. Five thousand dollar bond. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's the same thing as a moped, ain't it? No, you can. No, Kentucky's a lawnmower. Wild. Lawnmowers cut grass. Law, mopeds don't. <laughs> well, here's the funny thing. I'd say this happens so much. It's actually illegal to even ride your horse with a DUI. Or under the influence, you will get a DUI. Well, that's probably a good thing. So that probably falls into this category somewhere of why this guy got arrested. The thing about this is like, let's just say we cut out um, this part. Let's say we just cut out that part that's highlighted. So it's just Kentucky man on lawnmower arrested. That way it's more clean. Let's say we cut out arrested too. Just Kentucky man on lawnmower. That's a common occurrence. That's not like rare. You see them pulling like the little garden trailers all the time around. Oh, yeah. On a lawnmower? Yeah, and going from point A to point B. Are you saying that people often mow their lawns in Kentucky? I don't know. No. Just use them as transportation? Use a lawnmower as a daily driver. I had a lawnmower as a daily driver once, but it wouldn't make it back up my hill, so I figured I probably couldn't use it as a daily driver. Get you one of those zero turns. That's what I'm thinking, dude. You never see those on the road, though, do you? You know Mm -hmm. how much a used lawnmower costs around here? No. 50 bucks? Yeah. It's 50, 70, 75 if you want the mower still attached. It's 50 if you just want it to cruise or race. Have you priced these? I bought one. Yeah, there's one sitting <laughs> out there. Yeah, but it wouldn't make it up the hill, so it actually wouldn't start. That's a bad look. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get to drive it at all. Not good for the brand. It's not. It's not. We was going to turbo it, too. We was going to put turbos on this lawnmower. We was going to put wheels on it. I mean, it already had wheels, but it could flat. St- we could still get it to run. Yeah. We ain't going to, though. <laughs> Too much effort. Yeah, for a lawnmower. I've also had, what else have I had for a daily driver? A I mule? had that little, I had the mule, drove it pretty much everywhere. Then I had that little electric cart that's yellow. Mm-hmm. If y'all watch the videos a lot, my main channel, you'll know what, which one I'm talking about. But that thing scoots solid 12 mile an hour. Oh, yeah. It didn't have much range as a Tesla. It had like a... Four or five hundred yard range, but it was quiet. Yeah, it was quiet. A lot of storage space. <laughs> it's lit. We was going to put a hunting blind on the back of that. Remember it, had, that? it took six batteries. We should probably get those out. Car batteries. Yeah, yeah. Those before are, they get stolen. Yeah, they sell for twelve dollars a piece at Walmart. Really? Yeah, they'll buy them off from you. Hmm. Got a core charge. What else have you seen, people? Kentucky man's driving. That's not a car. A woman driving a Kawasaki mule to work. There's a guy. I mean, often you see like on the highway, see a lot of four wheelers, but they got that black backpack on. <laughs> they better be dodging the blue lots. Is all I'm Listen, saying. Listen, the other day, literally the other day, I was in a place. We was driving down this two lane road, so pretty big for Kentucky. But there was a four wheeler with a guy with a backpack on it, just sitting there cruising. Ah, state police directly behind him. They follow him for like two miles. The guy finally pulls off at his gas station. Not in a good way, just like, and then just whips off the road. Cops doesn't even care, just keeps on going. I saw a guy get busted the other day on one. Really? Yeah. How? Where was it, like in town or just out and right about? Right by the underpass, so it was on the highway. Wow. Wow. That's sad. What about bicycles? I don't know, but on this guy, they were like they were putting him in the car. So I was like, that four wheeler's just gonna be sitting there. <laughs> Imagine them calling you about like you're the tow company, be like, yeah, we got a four wheeler. We need you to impound. <laughs> As for bicycles, I'd say I see about three or four bicycles a, a year out here because it's, it's too hilly. College when 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 college is in, you'll see a lot of students and people who are like coaches and professors. They'll ride some, but as far as like the the local population, not popular. No, I no. I hit a cyclist today, bringing back our Taco Bell. What'd you do? I about hit one. Okay. Like driving down the road, because like on purpose or accident? Accidentally, because the thing <laughs> is, when you know when you're going up by the jail out here. Yeah. So as I was coming down the road, 
they pull out and start riding toward me this way. And I couldn't see because there's a tree in the way. And by about the time I get probably from here to the end of your hallway out there, they was just like coming out this road. And I was like, whipped it over. In what? What was you driving? The minivan. Yeah. It's thinking it whips though. You got a really good center of gravity. <laughs> it does. The brakes smell a little hot, but yeah, yeah it's all right. Yeah, they lock up sometimes. But If you like this clip, click right over here to watch the full podcast or right over here for all of our podcasts or right over here to subscribe to the podcast channel.